Hi, my name is Karen and this is my husband Rick. Uh, we are house parents for the Rayfield home. The boys are first through third grade. And we're completing our second year. They age from ranges six to nine. Um, we have ten, ten boys this year. Right, and can have as many as twelve. Uh, the first thing is make a pot of coffee and then start unloading the dishwashers and usually there are two dishwashers from the night before. Once I get done with uh, the dishes then we start with the laundry and we have a load of towels and a load of clothes. We do our clothes daily uh, to keep up with it. And then I usually come out and start preparing breakfast, um, set the table, um, get the fruit prepared, uh, cereal or eggs or whatever we're going to have and then we pretty much proceed uh, with wake up time. Yeah. Yep. 6 30 we put our music on and our wake up music we call it. We start down the hallway. Time Vic. Time to get up. Hey guys. Time to get up. Is it your laundry Bradley? No, not yours. All right. <laughs> they come down and pick up their clothes uh, that are in piles for them. Uh, go back to the rooms and get dressed. Each day, there's uh, somebody has their laundry. They call it, and that's their day to change their sheets. So they pull their their old sheets off, bring them down, and take fresh sheets. Each morning we administer medication and it's logged into the electronic system. Uh, we believe personal grooming should be a part of the routine so the kids look and feel their best. While the boys are finishing getting ready, I'm putting breakfast on the table. We pray together and eat breakfast. And then we start our charges, and that's always a lot of fun because it's a lot of activity. We go on a two-week cycle with those charges uh, just so the boys kind of learn before we rotate, and they go through the bathrooms and the mopping and the sweeping and the vacuuming, and it's quite a, they really get it down, so they're pretty efficient at it. We usually have a little free time. If the weather's nice, we'll go outside. Uh, this morning wasn't so nice, so we stayed up and watched some Animal Planet. Uh, once uh, it's about 10 to 8. Make sure everybody's hair is brushed, yeah. uh, their teeth are brushed, all the little prep stuff we do before they get out the door. Um, say our prayer at the door and head on out to school. We get to school, we go to each classroom and uh, just give a brief summary of the, the day or the evening before if there's any issues or concerns. If needed, we stop by the health center to take paperwork or pick up any medications that might be needed. When the kids are at school, this is a time for us to pick up food at grocery. We also go to home and office if we need supplies for the home. Then about 10 a.m. we go home and take care of our personal matters and return at 2.30 in the afternoon. When we return in the afternoon around 2.30, we check our emails and then do food prep for dinner. Approximately 3.20. Then we're going over to get the kids from school. Basically, they bring themselves home, but we house parents meet with each individual teacher uh, about each kid each every day to see how their performance in school was. And then if needed, we go to the health center, pick up any meds. Three thirty, when the boys come home from school, they put away their coats and their book bags, they have a snack, they start their homework, and then do some reading. From four to five is our time to take the kids to sports activities. We go to the playground sometimes and also have just free time activities outside. At 
5 o'clock I put dinner on the table. We pray and sit down to eat. After dinner we prepare for another activity or have free time. These activities include swimming, biking, hiking, or just playing outside. Uh, from about 6.15 to 6.30 uh, we start our showers and it takes a little bit of time sometimes to get them all through in a timely manner but uh, by 7.30 we're complete and we have our snack. Uh, after snack the boys brush their teeth, do their uh, bedtime meds and then we start a quiet time. While the boys are quiet and watching TV, we start our daily logs. At 8 p.m. we say our nightly prayer and the boys go to bed. We finish up our logs do our laundry, and then we also go to bed. We, we really enjoy working with the boys, and it's a very unique job and a unique place, and it's just it's an opportunity for us maybe to learn and grow a little bit. Yeah, and we really feel like St. Joe's is just the perfect place for these boys to thrive and grow.